I don't have a table saw and I don't have the space to have a table saw. They take up so much room, a decent one. You can get those little portable ones. But to save all that, I took a piece of 3 quarter inch OSB and then a piece of 7 16 OSB and I made a jig. And this gives real nice precise cuts when you need them. What I did is I screwed the 7 16 down to the 3 quarter inch and I actually made it about 6 inches, 5 and 3 quarters from the edge of this and I took the factory edge on this one and then what I did is I took my saw and I just cut along here and I get a perfectly straight edge doing that. A little under five and a half inches. And all I need to do is push this plate against the fence and I get perfect cuts every time. So this is almost as good as a table saw without all the hassle of owning a table saw. It works great for cutting the bottom of doors if they're a little long and rubbing on the carpet. You get a real precise cut. You don't make any mistakes with this. It's come in very handy. I wanted to share it with you. And I need to make a cover that's 54 inches long by 11 inches wide in my barn. And I'll show you how it works. I'm going to rip this 2x4 in half. It's, it's actually not exactly a 2x4, but um, so I'm going to make it 1 and 3 quarter inches and I'll rip that down. So all I do is set this under here, take my clamps, clamp it on, set this at 1 and 3 quarter inches. one and three quarter there. Just put this up against the fence and off I go. All I do is move that, clamp it back here, and I'll have to move that when I get to the end. That's all there is to it for a perfect cut. Now I'll show you how I do the piece of plywood. All I do is measure the 11 inches here. Eleven inches at this end. Now a couple pointers in doing this, if you're going to make one of these up, I'd make one uh, at least 48 inches depending on what you're going to cut. This one's actually 60 inches, 5 feet. But if you want to cut longer lengths, then you want to make this jig longer. There's different ways to secure it down. You could even screw this down to your material. The other thing is when you're doing this, Make sure that your saw horses are far enough underneath that you don't cut the top of your saw horse. But other than that, it works great. Now this piece I'm cutting is a little long, so I just set a weight on here, and that's not going to move. And also you need to compensate for the thickness of the blade when you're making your cut. So I 
made this just a little bigger than 11 inches. I actually went 11 and 1 eighth. Beautiful. 11 inches exactly. 11 inches exactly. And there we go. 54 inches. 54 inches. Perfect. Eleven, eleven, and eleven. Now, of course, if you have just a small piece and you have a miter saw, you don't need this jig. All right, let's go and start. Okay. All right, now we just set the panel. If this video was a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.